Hello, and welcome to Vault Life. There are many ways to generate and control chords with a modular synth, some of which use specialized modules. In this video, I'll take a more direct approach, but with a few tweaks for extra depth and variety. To start with, I'll use the three channels of pressure points to control the pitch of three analog VCOs. For greatest convenience, you'd want a quantizer for each channel, but in this case, I just quantize the root note and manually tune the other two. It's a bit fiddly, but it lets you dial in some detuning between notes, subtle or otherwise. Once they're set, you can sequence it as you wish. For the root note, I use a Verbos harmonic oscillator. The advantage of this is that you can easily add multiple harmonics to add certain intervals to your chord, but in this case I'll just add in some octaves, which are found at harmonics 1, 2, 4 and 8. For some variation, I use two random gates to trigger envelopes, one that brings in the fourth harmonic, and one which tilts the spectrum towards the top. The latter mostly brings in the eighth harmonic, three octaves above the fundamental, though with some of the other high harmonics for some interesting dissonance. The combined harmonic output could then be mixed directly with the two other VCOs, which in this case are a Rubicon and Dixie 2 but the harmonic oscillator uses sine waves so that they can blend into a coherent timbre rather than sounding like individual notes in a chord. I thus add some wave shaping to the verbos output, in this case with a microfold, to make it sound more like distinct notes. Together with sawtooths from the other VCOs, this gives a nice, vaguely string-like feel. Finally, I run the mixed chords through a filter and reverb. This could be subtle, but I've gone all out with a resonant wasp filter and a heavily modulated herb verb. The sweep of the wasp aggressively brings out different harmonics, while the herb verb sometimes brings in additional octaves with its shimmer effect and sometimes morphs into a whooshing drone. The end result, with random harmonics, wave folding, filter sweeps and reverb modulation, turns a simplistic chord progression into something much richer and very, very modular in approach. I'll now leave it to run for a while, but with occasional tweaks to the wave shaping, filter and other parameters, just to see the variations.
thanks for watching and I hope you found this useful.